Mm. All right. So we got trigger in the top left. We got cure in the bottom right. And let's see how it goes, man. Obviously, cure is favored. Trigger is getting more and more tournament uh, experience, which is really good. Yes, Mapu, thank you much. <laughs> Everywhere. So, uh, we've seen Trigger against Cure uh, a few times uh, on this channel, even. Um, I think this is all really good for Trigger that he's playing every single week. I think he's he's like a, a big part of the future of NA, right? Like Neeb retired recently. Uh, Estrella, I don't know how how uh, active Estrella is going to continue to be. Uh, and then a lot of the top, uh, the, a lot of the stronger NA players are more streamer than player at this point. I think it's something that that needs to combine for most people. Uh, you need to try to be both, like the pro gamer and the the streamer. It doesn't really make sense not to. But yeah, anyways, I think I think Trigger is is going to be one of these guys that you see popping up. Like I wouldn't be surprised if we see Trigger uh, at a couple live events this year. Like he's he's legitimately really good. I love his style. Uh, and excited to see what he'll do. I, I like that he's getting this practice every week because I don't see that many people every single week getting this practice, playing against people like the level of Cure. Oh, someone's saying he did say he was going to land. He's going to lands this year. That's awesome. Oh, did he go to some live stuff last year? Uh, the thing is, I only s just started keeping track of Trigger uh, when I started casting these. Like, I I had heard of him, and I had heard that he was quite good. Uh, but then when I started casting his games, um, yeah, that was my moment, guys, <laughs> where I was like, yes, he is good. <laughs> it's a great story. I'm not sure what uh, Astrea has said about his uh, future in gaming. But, I don't know. It doesn't feel like he's quite as active as he was before. I guess we'll just wait and see. You know, it's kind of the off season, so I don't want to be overly judgy about that. Astrea is a great player. I actually like him a lot as a person as well. He's a very smart individual, which you normally don't get from Protoss players. <laughs> Anyways, the Adept gets up. Sick move from Trigger. This is really good. Dude, look at this. Are you kidding me? And he shaded again perfectly. He's going to get this out. Well, not out of the base, but like out of the, the surround. So a lot of lost mining time. Three SCVs. Full scout. Dude. Really good stuff. Really good stuff from Trigger. He's got to be happy with that. Going into Blink. Yeah, pretty standard follow-up. Uh, Trigger likes two-gate Blink. Uh, he likes to get blank into the third base really, really quickly. Uh, now, obviously, this is going to be a harassment coming up from Cure. He's getting some mines. He's getting that starport. So, oh, that probe actually was kind of interesting. Oh no! Yes, thank you, thank you. You really need to target that. Okay, so he loses three probes of his own. Uh, so that was uh, that was pretty good counterplay, I think, from Cure. You know, those units aren't going to scale at all. So to trade those in for, for three probes right now, I think is fine. He also sees basically what's going on. There's that third nexus. Now, all this is going to come down. <laughs> Thank you, Profane. Bear, 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 bear. I really should put TTS on for, for subscriptions, shouldn't I? Uh, anyways, this is the important moment coming up, this drop. Okay, because this is where we see triggers sometimes fall against these strong uh, Korean uh, Terrans is... They start to, like, multi-pronged harass him, and he'll just start losing probes, right? I mean, that's that's a problem for pretty much all Protoss players. So, yeah, I just want to throw that out there. This is, like, I feel like this is a very defining moment in this game, maybe in this series. How well can he block Cure's harassment? Good. Now, the other mine is very sneakily walking into the natural. 
So this is where it's dangerous. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. And there it is. There it is. That's the mistake that has put Trigger behind. Or, well... Do we call him behind right now? I... The numbers aren't lining up with where they should be, right? Like, he should be at, at 50 probes right now. Uh, but he took that damage, so that's that's pretty painful. Um, Because it's Cure, I would consider him probably to be behind. This is going to be very hard for him to hold. And in fact, it is going to be uh, <clears throat> a Raven-based push. So to have that Raven out, he's going to be able to disable the Colossi, which is going to make it that much harder. So we'll see how Trigger deals with that. Okay, Blink's up, utilizing that Observer. If only he could, like, get a pick on something big here. Look at how calm he's being, how patient. I love this. I love this. This is just the way to do it. Kills two depots and an SCV. Backs out. Very well done. Very well done. Ooh. Okay. Not that bad. Not that bad. Felt like he should have targeted the gas one, maybe. Eh, I don't know. Anyways, whatever. Uh, so Thermal Lance coming up, as well as that charge. Dude, I tell you, one of the hardest things about casting both StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2, the two things I screw up all the time is charge versus legs. The two Zella speed upgrades, right? And, uh, sunken versus spine. Those are the two hardest things to keep straight. All right, so the move out timing is coming. You can see combat shields plus one and stim all finishing up here for cure. Trigger is just whittling down what he can, dealing damage where he can, you know, sucking energy off the medevacs if possible. Blinks back once again. Some good solid control. Don't forget, he lost a bunch of probes uh, at the beginning. So his army is going to be a little bit smaller than what he wanted it to be. I think there's still some potential here. He does need to move forward with his army. Notice he has three sentries. Really critical in situations like this, in my opinion. This is my favorite way to see Protosses hold on against these pushes. You come out and meet them, and you try to bait uh, the Disable. And if you can bait the Disable, you throw down force fields, you run away. And that basically equalizes uh, one Disable, right? And then maybe you can do that again. We'll see. Okay, see? Bam. Force fields go down, but not enough. Not enough. That's the problem, right? Like, he had enough force fields, but didn't nail them, unfortunately. Okay, Overcharge comes out. He needs to be careful. He needs to pull back. Pull back. Let everything heal. Good split. Can you tell we're, we're <laughs> cheering for USA here? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, well, the Colossi are no longer disabled. Unfortunately, the Siege Tank is there. We have uh, all the, the Marauders like just kind of targeting down. He does bring out some more Zealots. It's not enough, though. He needed one more round than that, I think, to be really, really efficient. Dude, Canada is part of America now that I moved here. Okay, so don't even... Don't even. All right, so Trigger ends up holding, right? But, like, you can see all these little things adding up. Like, he missed his force fields a little bit. He lost those early probes. Like, imagine how much better a position he would be in otherwise. The thing is, you start fixing those those pieces that went wrong for him, and you're a real pro gamer at that point. Okay, so does pick one. He gets another disable. This is not good. This is... I don't like this for Trigger at all. That is so many Marauders, man. That is so many Marauders. He brings up Zealots, but, like... Yeah, yeah. That could have gone a lot worse as well. It was good micro. Uh, from Trigger there. Now he's adding in the Archons. Hey, man, maybe this will end up working. He's, like, kind of all in, to be honest. You notice he's not mining that much gas. He's not getting upgrades. He's just making Archons and trying to push. And I can't really blame him because things haven't gone super well. Okay, removes a bunch of the mines. It is important. It's okay to lose a few Zelts. It's, in fact, much better than letting all your Zelts get bruised. That was, a, that was a swift pickup, although he did take some damage on the prism. All right, he's going to get this third command center. Damn, dude. Trigger. Uh, 
All right, well, that is some some swift micro right there as well. And the Archon's doing a pretty good job of tanking overall. This is this retreat, though, is very tough. He's juggling really nicely, but just barely not enough units, it seems like. The amount of Marauders here is pretty absurd. A lot of Zealots pop out. Hold on, though. With these Zealots, is he going to be able to push this back? Ooh, the kiting there against the Zealots while he's trying to pick off the, the uh, Vikings. Really, really clutch. Now... He killed a command center, so I think we have to reevaluate this game if it doesn't end right now. Uh, that Immortal, by the way, being a boss right now against Pure Marauder. Uh, a lot of damage on this army. Okay, so here's the thing. Third command center died, but we don't have any forges, right? That's the real big problem here for Trigger. He's down two upgrades. He's been down two upgrades. He continues to be down two upgrades. But it is just two base for Cure. We're actually getting into a pretty interesting game now, I think. All right, a couple of mines being dropped off. No! We were doing so well. Well, I guess it's not the end of the world. Eight probes. He's killing a few SCVs over here. A little bit of counterplay. That's nice. Gonna blink out of there. Still, okay, we have a forge. For sure we have a forge, considering I see a cannon warping in. Are we ever gonna get an attack upgrade? Is the big question here. I, I mean, he's getting a prism, so I think he's just gonna go again. <laughs> oh, man. All right, continuing to try to get some drops done. Oh, okay, that's what the cannon was for. Okay. Try to keep that mineral line healthy. Ooh, trigger. Careful here, careful here, careful here. Okay, he's attacking in a line. Unfortunately, his Zots were stuck behind there for a moment, but the blink forward actually does pretty well. Saves the prism. No, the prism gets picked off, and he can't go through that choke, man. Pull back, pull back. Uh, the Archon's ta tanking a ton of damage, but there's just not enough here. Just not enough. And Cure is going to take game number one. But that was... That was really good fighting back from Trigger. Like, we got to hand it to him. Because he's had some games where... Uh, some of these things go wrong where he's, like, losing probes and whatnot. And it just kind of falls apart. And it doesn't look good at all. But this... You can see the improvement still occurring here week to week. And, you know, he's trying to fight on. But it truly is over. There's no way to come back from here. No one would. It's just, yeah, you don't have anything left. Eating up a lot of mine hits with that Archon, healing it back up. It's like, you know, he's he's trying to stand it because he knows he did good damage to Kira, but it's nothing's enough here. That was that was a good game though. That was good. No, it's the same one. It almost all melted while I was casting. I didn't want to eat while I was casting. <laughs> the game picked up. It, it turned into a little bit of a puddle. But I, I went... Licked it right up. I only deserve it because I shoveled today. I sure did shovel, man. Railed that driveway.
Ну, может, он его. Dude. The greatest. The greatest ice cream there is. Rollo ice cream. Mm. Ah. Let's do it. Anyways, Saul game from Trigger. He needs to block the losing of probes a bit better. I think it's uh, an important thing for him might be when he starts blocking probe death to instantly look elsewhere because this is actually probably the most foolproof thing you can do against Korean pro gamer Terrans. When you're blocking something, know that something else is happening at the exact same time because that's how they play. Uh, all high-level Korean RTS players are like this. Where, like, yes, it's always going to be a second thing. So when the first thing comes and you feel like you're blocking it, well, look elsewhere immediately. Dude, it was melting. I don't know. I, I don't know what she... Why are you guys making this up? This is such a fucking weird thing. Hmm. All right, so command center goes down. Everything looks pretty normal here. We'll see if he goes for his blink two gate uh, nexus again. I think it's a it is a good build. I like the build. It actually got kind of popular in Korea for a, like a little tiny bit, and then really fell away. All the Korean Protoss is really like three gate blink. I think because they're a bit more active with it, whereas Trigger plays it more uh, defensively into the quicker claw side, quicker third base, all that. I like my ice cream like I like my cereal with water. Okay. Chugged a big glass of water after eating that. That It was delicious. Okay, so there goes the twilight. Hmm. And, uh, yeah, a couple Hellions on the way. Well, now we just got to wait a moment here. Pops down the depots as the Hellions come out. Going to go ahead and secure that kill. So a good one there. Um, up comes the Medivac. And, oh, he is actually going three gate this time. It's a little bit different, right? Maybe he feels like he's spreading himself a bit too thin otherwise. Uh, he does do that two gate. Uh, blink third base very, very often. I feel like I haven't personally seen him do, at least in the past month and a half that we've been casting trigger. I don't believe I've seen him do the three gate blink. Anyways, no biggie. I mean, it plays very, very similar. It, like, basically just makes your third nexus take longer. You get more stalkers. Very straightforward. Now, it's the same type of drop off of cure here. But now that we're on two base, it's going to be a little bit easier for him to block everything. Two Hellions just kind of parading about there. Patrolling, rather. Not parading. Getting ready to dive into the front. So it's going to be a three Widow Mine drop to the main, and the Hellions try to go to the, the front. So he sees the Stalkers out there, and he's going to go ahead, get in here, and boost once he sees the pylon, very likely. Did he boost? Yeah, there it is. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, okay. That was really scary for a moment. Loses only three probes so far. Four probes, five probes, and a stalker. And he kills two Hellions, one mine, damages that. A little bit of lost mining time. Not the greatest defense. And we'll have to see how he defends the next, the next portion, right? Now... By the way, he's been going Colossi a lot, and there is another Raven out, which obviously that's like uh, these... It's like a soft counter to Colossi in a lot of ways with the Disables, because it just takes out the most important unit in your army. Because he opened in this very different way, he didn't take a quick third, he does not have to go Colossus this game. There are multiple ways that you can come out of this build. Probably he will still go third. Yeah, there it is. He's getting ready for that third. 
But like you could, you could go Templar Archives, get Psy Storm. Absolutely, you could do that. Um, I mean, you could you could rely more on Disruptors than Colossi. Some people, some people like that. I don't like it as much. I think the Colossi is a better opening unit. And he does go towards that tech, so we'll see if it's Colossi once again. I think it will be. I think Disruptors are better as an add after Colossi are out. Yeah, his Stalker Harassment is doing really zero here. Uh, the two depots at the front, the various siege tanks, the good building placement. Doesn't seem like Trigger's going to be able to break in anywhere. In the meantime, back at his own base. Have that Forge coming up, getting charged. So we'll be getting some upgrades this time at least. Oh. <laughs> well... What can you do? He's, he's trying to get some harass done. It's just not working for him right now. So very standard stuff. You can see as Stim Combat Shields and Plus One are all starting to line up. They all finish right around the same time. And uh, Kira will move out at that point. Oh, look at that. He did force a cancel in the third command center. Now, that's not super, super, super impactful. It was very early on. Uh, and you're not planning on taking the third too, too quickly anyways. It's like you basically, you float the third out as you're, as you're doing your pressure build. Okay, one siege tank there. Is he? It's interesting to see this because the, the, the placing of the siege tank is literally perfect. Like you can't even attack a depot without getting hit. So that's really well done. But Trigger keeps going in and, like, looking for damage, and it's not really occurring. He's just kind of getting bruised a bit. Now, here comes the attack. Colossi this game... Oh, no. Is he actually just going to set up? Maybe the fear of the units being there. Yeah, we like we like to call it, like, a pin, right? Like, when you have this counterattack that's obvious and present, that's when you're trying to pin your opponent to or into, like, the defensive posture around his base. Now, chasing those Stalkers back, he's going to know that there's very little out there that can hurt him. There is the Prism. Looks to be flying elsewhere on the map. Maybe he's going to go and try to do a Zealot Warp in. All right, backs up. That's four Siege Shanks, man. That is a little bit tough. He needs another round of Zealots, I think, at least. Ooh, even one more round of Zealots, I think, doesn't quite do it. Okay, the Disable. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up, back up. Don't be taking these siege tank hits. Jesus Christ, that was a full energy sentry. Oh, man. So right now there's a zealot harassment going on at the natural. That's why we, we see him losing all of his sentries here on hold position. Ugh. Uh, but you know what? Here's the thing. Like, Trigger is a newer player and stuff. It, it here is a GSL champion. Like, we can't expect perfect play. But you, you certainly, you see the broad strokes are really, really good. He is getting better. But we're seeing enough mistakes that it's like Kira is just going to wiggle the game out no matter what. Right? Like, it, Trigger has a lot of supply. So I don't want to, like, overcall it. But I just saw him lose two sentries. Is he slowing down Kira at all? Not really. Not super much. He doesn't have a second upgrade. Okay, he starts second upgrade literally while I'm saying that. Uh, and, I mean... You need to pull back against something like this, right? Like, let him deal damage to your Nexus, but make sure you have an overwhelming amount. Now, he's killed 11 SCVs, but he did warp in a lot of Zealots there. So does he have enough to break through? Let's see. Charge goes up. The Zealots evaporate so quickly, plus double disable. So see, this was the problem. This is why I was saying not even one group of Zealots uh, was going to... not One round of Zealots was not going to be enough to break through there. He really needed at least two. But he kept on doing warp ins for his counter harassment as opposed to break the push. Because it's a siege tank based push, it's not good at retreating, right? Like he could theoretically retreat with the bio, but you really want to fight with the tanks because you put so much money into them. So I feel like if he had put more rounds into defeating this army and holding his own base, then there wouldn't have been good colossi protection at home, right? So instead, now all we have for Trigger is just three Colossi walking around. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. So 80 supply lead here for Cure. He's just, he's going to mangle him from here, I think. It's 
pretty straightforward. Looks like he has another disable ready as well. Some disruptors coming out. That's I mean that's a good comeback unit. Probably the best comeback unit in the game. I always like M Canning saying all you need is a disruptor in a dream. GG is called. Here goes the finals. No big surprise. Uh but you know what? I think I think Trigger played well. He's getting better. I hope that he can continue to play like this and continue to improve weekly and not get into his own head. It can be really hard losing against pro gamers endlessly for like years and not talking yourself into thinking that you are not cut out for it or you're not good enough or they're more talented or whatever it may be, right? No, this is not paid casting. Unless you want to leave a donation. And then it would be partially paid casting.